welcome to your morning walking chronicles good morning everyone hope y'all having a fantastic day so listen message when you tap dance for the devil <laughs> when you think you gonna get some quick money scheme scams things like that just understand the devil is a lie and the only little money you're going to get is going to be for a temporary game. I don't care if it takes you six months, years, whatever the case may be. If you build your empire on a lie, if you build your empire on the devil, wants and needs of selfish games, it do not last long. And even if it did last long, say you got away with it, your body... <laughs> Right, your your family, your people, it will affect. All money ain't good money, okay. Take your time, cause see, God will bless you in divine timing. See, a lot of people don't want to believe that God will bless you, or they may believe it, but they don't see it in their life. It's because they don't have patience. Now, one thing about having a spiritual journey. It will teach you to be patient. Why? Because God is patient. Okay? God is patient. And he wants you to be patient because anything that you receive quickly, and don't get me wrong, when he does his work, it's going to happen fast, right? But until then, he has you wait. Okay, so why do he has you wait? versus the devil who allows you to obtain it quickly. Well, he has you wait because of the same reason. If you gain something quickly, you will lose it quickly because you haven't even got the appreciation for it, right? Have you ever got something real fast and before you got it, you, you lost it or you spent it or did something quick with it? Or when you finally got that girl you've been wanting for the longest or that dude you've been wanting, you get it and you be like, uh, I don't even want that person no more. You know what I mean? Why? Because you were getting it, you obtained it under faulty circumstance. <laughs> you only got that person because you just wanted that person for physical attraction. You didn't know that person. You didn't care about what this person needed or wanted or is this person true for you. You just wanted some sex, or you just want some money, or you just want a temporary game. Confirmation. <laughs> okay? And God, again, is taking the trash out, guys. Can't make it up. I keep seeing trash dumpsters. The chosen will be first, and the first shall be last. This is the season of it. So I suggest y'all get y'all energy up. Because it's not a, a time to be low vibration. Okay, guys. You get low. Taking the trash out. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. God is taking the trash out. Okay. So, look. The reason why God say in divine timing is because he wants you to wait. Because he wants you to go through the journey. He wants you to go through the process. It's kind of like baking a cake, right? It's like if you went to the store and bought the cake, it's still good, right? But you don't have that much appreciation for it. Versus if you take the time, get your pan, get your eggs, milk, mix it, you know, prepare, right? Because God is preparing a table for you and, your, and, and for you only. But your enemies is going to be watching. So it takes time to prepare a table because God's table is a big table. <laughs> it's a big blessing. There ain't no little scrawny table, right? This is a table prepared just for you. Now, your enemies will be allowed to watch it four, four, four in the clock, but they can't touch. You ever heard that movie? Mm, you can look, but you bet not touch. Okay. So it's kind of the same concept. So anyway, 
But yeah, it's like preparing a cake. You know, it's like you don't appreciate something until you actually make it. And then when you taste that cake you made, you be like, dang, this cake is good. Okay, I got this. You hit a plane. You know I spit facts when that plane come around. Facts! <laughs> okay? It tastes better. It's more moist. It's, it's You appreciate it. So all I'm saying is, don't be, you know, if your business ain't taking off like you think, if the views ain't getting there like you think, you know what I mean? Just keep going, man. Just keep going. You know, if your money ain't right, it don't matter. Keep going because it takes time. And when you get the blessing, when you learn a lesson, when you go through that preparation, and once he provide a blessing for you, you're going to know what to do with it. Have you ever just got a lump sum of money and... All of a sudden, you just spent it on some dumb shit, and then after you broke, you're like, damn, why I spend it on that shit? That was stupid, right? Because you got a big lump sum of money, and then you wasn't prepared to spend it well. You wasn't prepared to receive it. See, God want us to be able to receive his blessing, okay? So that when you receive the blessing, you appreciate it. You spend it wisely or whatever you with the blessing is. When you get your blessing, you're going to be excited. You're going to cherish it. You're going to take care of it. You're going to bless other people. Right? So, it's okay. Take your time. Don't look at the next person. I mean, we all do look at the next person and go, oh, dang, they already got there. But it's okay. Because just because you're not there where, where somebody else may be at a better level, that don't mean you're less than. That just mean your blessing even bigger. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I ain't got there yet. That's okay. Because I know when my blessing get there, it's going to be even better. Okay? God said your cup run it over. Your cup run it over. Because once it runs over, by doing God's work, by raising your vibration, You'll be able to pour over once you fill your cup up. Because remember, it's all about you first. Fill your cup up. Sorry, guys. Fill your cup up. And then it will run over to help someone else. God say, your cup will run over. Which means he's not saying give y'all your cup out. He's not saying give all your cup out and then when you look at your cup is empty. No. And I think a lot of people get that misconstrued. You got to fill your cup first. You got to make sure your cup is full first. You can't help nobody if your cup empty. Okay, so fill your cup first. What's a cup? Your cup, your vessel, your energy, your chakras, your body, your temple. Your vibration, your frequency, your soul. You can't talk about you're going to help somebody else and your soul empty. That's why I say a lot of these preachers and pastors and things, they fake because they trying to teach you how to fill your cup up and they ain't even filled theirs up. They want you to fill theirs up. You know what I mean? Their cup is empty for real. But they're going to psych your mind up to say, they're going to they gonna tell you how to, how to fill your cup up, but their cup is empty so that when your cup is filled, they want some of yours. And it don't work like that. That's why it's considered fake. And you hear that plain. If anybody know, I'm spitting that truth. So basically, it don't work like that. That's why they fake. That's why they consider fake. And some of them is actually doing dark energy spell work, too. But I'm just saying for the people who, they say they went to school and they, I studied, I went to school and this and that. Yeah, you got the knowledge, but it's your cup field, though. That's a difference. I can read all the books I want, but if my cup ain't filled, I'm false flagging. 
See, I can't fake because my cup is filled. And what it could be filled with? With the Holy Spirit. With God Almighty. But it took God to come into my life. It took me to actually do the work. Because when God come into your life, you still got to do the work. Many are called, few are chosen. You know why? Because few people actually put the work in. People get called, God called people all the time. And that doesn't mean that they're actually putting the work in. That don't mean they actually answering the call. So make sure y'all cups are filled before you're trying to help someone else. Else, it become a form of codependency, people pleasing. Because you're worrying about somebody else so much you're not filling your own cup. So start your day with God, start your day filling your cup up so that it can overflow. Because God say overflow. He ain't say fill your cup up and then take your cup and pour it on some nut. He says overflow, 1111. Okay. So which means still keep, get your cup overflow first, which means I'm gonna bless you. I'm gonna give you unlimited power to where it's going to overflow to where when somebody come into your energy to where if you want to give out a message to where if you want to speak in my name it's going to flow to somebody else that's going to help somebody else 1111 okay so have an overflow not pick your cup up and pour it on somebody you overflow your cup okay so you start your day with God and end your day with God throughout the day you support God and that's been your morning walking chronicles I love y'all stay safe stay prayed up namaste 1212 look up that angel number